What up, it's your boy Boy King Down Two Two Five coming at you with another reactionary video. So hit that like, subscribe, and become part of the kingdom. I guess you'll consider this like a manosphereish, red pillish B one video. You know, recently I discovered, like a couple months ago, like forever learning. I have a utter thirst thirst for knowledge that people would never grass unless you lived inside this head of mine like recently learned a term called sigma male you know this year i don't know exactly when this year it could been january shit but it's recent sigma male because i always consider myself an alpha only because there was two options alpha beta like i was never a beta far from beta yeah, I had my heart broken. I done, done simpy shit, but <laughs> ain't nobody else, of course, said I ain't never stood up for myself or stood for a principle. That what betas do. Betas let you fuck over them. Not this guy. But I, I wasn't really like some of the tendency alpha niggas do. I ain't down with it. Like, ugh. I always thought I was different. I was alpha, because when I stood in the room, when I walked in the room, you know what I'm saying, I always had this magnetic personality. Everybody who fuck with me knew this, know this. Like, I'm fucking with King. I'm fucking with King. And I always said, like, I'm anti-social, but extremely social. Like, because I prefer to chill at home, not go out, not do nothing. But when I'm out, Nigga, I'm out. Like, I ain't the nigga sitting on the wall chilling. You get me drunk enough, I might even dance. But I like, I, like, man, I am alpha. Because, you know what I'm saying? I stand on that. You know what I'm saying? I, whatever. I ain't gonna let no nigga owe me. Chick either. That's not a beta attitude. That's not a beta personality. But some of these alpha niggas, oh. Okay, so then I understood. This like anime. Shout out to my anime niggas. You know, they got B class, A class, then they got S class. Oh, that's where you at, King? In the S class. Sigma. You always thought Alpha was the top dog, but to you, the niggas seem weak too. Cause they be emotional too. Like you be, y'all be, but uh, okay, all right. So recently, I discovered you. I was, yeah, I knew I was a lone wolf. Like, but I ain't, I like, I ain't gonna even lie. That's why they need these male spaces. Like, cause if this shit information would have been out, like, I would never thought I was the only type of person like me in existence when I was coming up. Like, I can make friends easy, but I don't know. Like, it's hard for a nigga to be my friend. Like, if they had a, a group of young black men when I was growing up in the 80s and the early 90s, they're like, man, you not alone. They got a lot of little people think like you. I could have made it, you know, like some real, I don't know about that, I am real Sigma, so I don't know. Let's play the video so you can understand what I'm talking about when it comes to, you know, my attitude. I am going to stop a lot. So prepare, this video might be, <sighs> sorry in advance, let's get to the video. I'm glad I got that prime, we ain't got to look at no commercials no more. Whoop, whoop. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like, subscribe. Your boy gonna invest in the company, I'm telling you, in me. You know what I'm talking about? Wait till you see the content I'm gonna give y'all in the future. <sighs> really fucking with me. Hit that cash out. Let's get to the video. If you're watching this video, you either don't know where you fit into the social structure, or you're curious about why all Sigma males are loners. In this video, I'll cover nine reasons why Sigma males have little to no friends. Most people value their friendships highly, and the foundation of every lasting friendship is built on respect, 
unwavering support, and of course, selflessness. Mm. Sadly, the rise of social media platforms has given some people an entirely new perspective on friendship. On Twitter, you can have a million followers, and on Facebook, innumerable friends. However, they aren't your friends if you can't rely on them for unwavering support or trust. I'm pausing because I'm in my head right quick. I'm going to give you an example why I always said I'm different from alpha males, okay? This is real life events, ladies and gentlemen. Like, when I tell you I, this is the shit I've experienced, this happened. When I was out selling my CDs, you know, you say, I always have a gathering, a debate of brothers in the hood. Like, you, wherever you found King, it was a group of neighborhood dudes having political or uh, uh, just, you know, popular shit. They out there debating it. I'm talking about, oh, you know, escalated levels in the middle of the street in front of the police. They, the police playing like, oh, them niggas out there at it again. Like, I'm talking about debates. If we had cameras, we got footage of it, but, you know what I'm saying? But I was always a nigga who hung around with alpha niggas. You know, the alpha niggas eat beta niggas lunch. Because they alpha niggas eat alpha niggas lunch. But they'll be out here, like one of the discussions is, man, is the head. I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? But they was on this attitude like, I'm the boss. Nigga, I'm the boss. So when women say shit like that, I believe that. That don't make me beta. But just my elevated thinking, I think, like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. I think men and women should be teammates, equals almost. I make the final decision because it's my life on the line. We need to agree with that. But I'm not going to treat my woman like she's some kind of fucking slave, my boy. You know what I'm saying? I want my woman to be here because she won't be here. Trust my my decision. Don't question that. But I don't want her to be in a world where she feel like, uh, that, that nigga treat me like I'm a slave. He's, no, no, no. I want my woman to accept my rule and understand that's my rule and trust that my rule is for the love and protect her. Not to, oh, man, you, 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 you dominating on me. I'm supposed to do, no, 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 no. She, I want her to be doing what she wants to do for the betterment of, of us. But the trust that us includes me. And me makes the last decision. That's it. That's just it. Now, I ain't like. But man, but I just man to head of household. I agree with that. But you ain't got to be a dictator to be a good king. You be a strong, loving, powerful king. You ain't got to. Like, chop your queen head off. You ain't got to do that. Just got to pick the right queen. Understand that we're a team. That's always been my, that's what I'm saying about the difference between alpha, betas. Betas going to let this bitch run him. Alpha going to try to dominate. But a, a sigma understand, like, man, I want a teammate. I want someone to accept this yin yang. And I'm a masculine energy and she a feminine energy. That's what I want. Trust my masculine. Like that ain't, that shouldn't be no fucking conflict. From my thinking. But let's get to the video. Instead, they serve as your online spectators. Or should I say fans. The Sigma males do, however, have few friends. Mm. You have to earn their friendship first before they will consider you one. Wow. They recognize the value of true friendships and place a high value on them. Sigma males may seem inherently prideful or conceited, oh. which is why you might assume they have little to no friends, but that isn't the case. It's just in their character. They favor quality above quantity. Mm. Number one, Sigma males are just not interested in relationships. Sigma males are capable of love, but they prefer to be alone. Relationships... See, and that's first why I said should I had a group I always thought I was weird because I never wanted a traditional relationship I always felt like society forced me you need to get married you need to be a family I'm like man I don't 
believe even at a young age. You know, I guess that's the curse of being raised by a single mother. I never believed in no fucking relationships that was gonna last eternally. I always felt like it's my obligation. Oh, I got that girl pregnant. I got to be her old man. I got to stay in a relationship. I got to offer her marriage. I got to marry her. Like, man, my, I always wanted to be like free. You, <laughs> thank you for my children. You know what I'm saying? I felt like that he made me free. The fact that I had children outside of marriage. Like, fucking weird, but I'm telling you. I'm like, man, am I weird for this? Because I don't want traditional relationships. I want a polyamorous one. And since I'm not allowed to marry multiple women, I can't be in no traditional marriage. You feel me? I need, like, Two, three of them, of them up in here. Not that, like, not like, then my libido ain't up there. But I need a big team, you feel me? Like, whenever, it, it, it ain't about the sex is what I'm saying. Like, I'm old dude. I ain't just gonna be, I got shit to do. I got money to make. But, like, I ain't just, <sighs> I supposed to get married. I supposed to sacrifice half my shit. Man, these bitches be out here scandalous, bro. I'm supposed to trust this. Too much evidence go against it like this. And I know a real, I know real people who had long, everlasting marriages. I know it's hard. But I don't believe. Maybe this is a 1% chance. Like, these marriages are rare. Like, my grandma's marriage. I can even say a recent marriage, you know. Shout out Eagle Eye. They married. They they married. Look perfect too. But like I don't believe in that marriage shit. Like cause you gotta trust somebody, and I don't really trust y'all out here like that. Like give up half my shit. And, and you rely on me to no. I need some. <sighs> Let's continue. I always thought I was weird. Nah, son, you not weird cause you don't want you know a traditional relationship. You want polyamorous one, and that all you know necessarily include marriage. You don't want to necessarily uh, get a certificate. I don't even feel, you know, for, I ain't going to say that. I'm going to continue the video. Merely serve to impede their goals and desires. Instead of seeing family as a need, they perceive it as a burden. That doesn't mean they don't demonstrate. Listen, what I heard the first time, yes, it can be burdensome dealing with family, but if you, you know, love your family, Love is never a burden. You never burden by shit you love to do. You know, it's burden to work with somebody that you don't love to do the job you do. But it's never a burden to deal with people you fucking love, bro. Demonstrate affection to their partners, family, and friends, though. Instead of letting loved ones drag them down, Sigma males establish boundaries. Mm. Losing one's freedom is the last thing a Sigma male desires. Rarely do their ambitions include starting a family and settling down. They will, though, if forced into a circumstance where they must support their family members. They will if you get a chick pregnant and you want to do the right thing because society tells you that's what a man's supposed to do. But it... <laughs> Some Sigma males also find the ideal partner who respects their independence. Oh. That is a Sigma male's ultimate goal when it comes to relationships. See, that's that 1%. Because I want to be optimistic that there is a woman out here who can understand and accept and appreciate my freedom. But I don't want your ass to be no thought either. You understand? I don't just because... Like, I ain't, just because I'm free don't mean I'm going to be out here slanging this pickle to everybody. Especially if you got a teammate over here. I'm that loyal. But, like, my, my, if you see my grandkids in the background, it is what it is. You know, I can only cage the beast but so long. They might even bust in this motherfucker. To find somebody who understands them and their boundaries and can understand them on a deeper level. Number two, Sigma males can see through people. Oh. In my previous video, how Sigma males destroy. My nigga, 
I have no idea how many times I have told people how my bullshit meter is extra sensitive. I could detect it. I could smell it. I even tell people, just because I don't react or you think I don't think I know what the fuck you doing, trust. I just deemed and analyzed and calculated. It ain't even worth the trouble to address. All too often. I'm like, it's playing checkers, and I'm a chess nigga. You, you hear me? Like, this. <sighs> there go my arrogance, my ego again. Like, I always tell my nephew, who is Sigma male, also, you know, highly intellectual as well. Like, you got to have principles because our, our, our mentality can get, you know, very out of hand. Uh, being smarter than everybody else, move different than everybody else, it can be dangerous. Boy, evil people, I mentioned that Sigma males are skilled at spotting fake friendliness and subtly aggressive humor. Mm. When someone gives them a gift out of selflessness, rather than... Man, what that nigga talking about? Like, people be thinking I be on some sensitive shit. Like, man, hell... Nah, I'm telling you, that nigga meant something by that, bro. I'm telling you, he ain't said it like that. He ain't stand up, man. Like I be spotting shit, niggas don't be going over their head. They twinkling the guy. Like that's what can be safe a lot in these treacherous streets. My ability to see shit, motherfuckers really getting see. Like, man, with my antennas up, I'm real well. I'm perceptive. You know, I read your goddamn energy, your body language. I'm like, man, everything. I'm like fucking monk, a private detective. Like, spotting every detail. I'm like, man, shit don't smell right, dog. Time to get the fuck. Because they want to make an outrageous demand in return, they can tell. Sigma males are very clever and adept at spotting people's just demand in return of humor. When someone gives them a gift out of selflessness rather than because they I always say no trust the messenger, same same principle. I'm like, why is he telling me? Why are you telling me this? What is your purpose? I'm just nah bro. I want you to tell me. Especially family. They want to make an outrageous demand in return they can tell sigma males are very clever and adept at spotting people's true motivations even from a distance sigma males can spot someone who is overly excited emotional and hyperactive while they are trying to make friends them the alphas you, you feel me them the alphas them the alpha niggas all these alpha niggas out here then you these niggas who, who like, I, when I walk, like I said, when I walk in the room, that motherfucking spotlight just hit. Like, I ain't had to do nothing. I just had to be me. But the alpha niggas are always jealous of the niggas. Like, I got to be extra so I can get the spotlight. I can get the, like, nigga, I just had to be me. And I, it, it, it came to me. Like, oh, man, I got to put on the jaw and that, like. I got to, I got to grab my dick and got to have my pants all behind, all, all below my ass. I got to fight any nigga in the club, prove these hoes. They got a big dick. Nah, nigga, you look like a lame ass nigga, bro. Chill and get these bitches on your game, son. Out here being extra. Let me go back a little bit. Clever and adept at spotting people's true motivations, even from a distance. Sigma males can spot someone who is overly excited, emotional, and hyperactive while they are trying to make friends. Because of their personalities, they avoid these people mm. and find it difficult to make friends with them. The majority of the time, these people are social climbers who desire friendship with mm. the lone wolves 
because they possess their needs or desires. Hmm. The intuitive character of the Sigma male allows him to spot social climbers from a great distance and avoid them at all costs. Number three, Sigma males don't care about what anyone thinks of them. The opinions of others mean little to Sigma male. Say, bro, I've said that so many times. See, we care, especially if you love, we love you and you are in a circle, but we don't care because I'm going to make my choice for me any motherfucking way because it's my life and I'm going to get judged for my decisions whether it's good or bad by everybody regardless so why the fuck would I kill they are free to express themselves without worrying about winning anyone over and have an independent world view Ooh. they are never concerned by other people's ideas how many times have King and got on his platform and said all black people should be independent in politics and not motherfucking shackled to the Democratic Party or not align themselves with the Republican one, but be an independent party. How many times? Because they think differently from everyone else. They don't care if you think they're strange. Hmm. The only time a Sigma male will react to something is if it direct I always felt like I was different and a weirdo. I was outcast. Shout out outcast. Outcast meaning adjective meaning home son accepted in society. But I ain't gonna get into that. I ain't gonna say the whole thing. Whew. Well, like I, I'm different, but I ain't you know, no beta man different. I know, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just different from these alpha niggas, but I ain't like no lame ass nigga ain't no ooh boo hoo 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 hoo. But I was just like, man, I'm different from these niggas. Ugh. I mean, I'm weird. I, I watch, I, I read comic books and shit. And like, and I don't give a fucking nigga care. Like, fuck you. Like, another rant. Let's go. Simply affects their family. This is because a Sigma male is unfazed by any judgment or disrespect done to himself. But if somebody he truly cares about is disrespected, the Sigma male will stick up for them at all costs. This is because Sigma males are incredibly loyal to the people they truly care about and never want to see them get hurt. Sometimes I feel like I'm, I always feel like I'm more loyal to the people than they are to me. Like that's how incredibly loyal I am. And I do let a lot of shit go, a lot of bullshit. Like I say, I analyze it whether to see if it's worth it. It's worth my time or even my effort. Like, I always tell people I argue with, like, that is a sign that I love you. The fact that I'm wasting my time expressing my emotions and my feelings to you, arguing with you. I always tell people I love you. more I argue with you, the more I love you. If I don't argue with motherfuckers I don't care about, or who opinion don't matter, or I don't know. Fuck that. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of my face. Bye. But if I sit in there arguing with you, that means I'm trying to come to a resolution or a solution or get some kind of communication and understanding. I don't want to get heated. I don't want to be arguing. But like, especially my family, a bunch of women, like voices elevate. Just trying to get heard. Like, and you get pushed over. This is how I'm a sigma and not a beta. Say so you will get pushed and dominated when it comes to women in an argument. There's no argument. I done had told my people in my family, I done had conversations with you on the phone, and y'all ain't even know I set the goddamn phone down, and y'all was just running y'all mouth 45 minutes. With not, my, I ain't made no reply. They just, I ain't paying attention that I ain't listening. I'm listening, but... If the phone don't speak, I ain't saying nothing in 45 minutes. That's how the conversation go. You got to stand up for yourself. You got, oh, no, I'm not going to let you say that to me. I'm not going to let you say that. I'm not going to let you do that. I'm not going to call me no bitch. You're not going to cross the line. Then you say something back, then, oh, you not. You going to hear me. So, like, shit get elevated don't mean... It's going to cross the line. But if I argue with you, that means I care about you. 
I do not waste my time on those I don't fuck with. Unless it's on some content shit. Number four. Sigma males are not afraid of missing out. Sigma males don't act in a certain way just because everyone else is. They resist joining the crowd. Instead of having a pointless chat, they would prefer to spend time alone exploring and learning new things. These lone wolves don't really care about the most recent fashions in contrast to the alpha or beta men. They also give little thought to materialistic items. They hardly worry about missing out since they enjoy being by themselves and thinking about the world around them. If you're getting value from this content, click the like and subscribe button. I did, bro. I dish out content like this every day. Now back to the nine reasons why Sigma males have no friends. Number five, Sigma males don't need to prove their worth to anybody. Each masculine Sigma is self-reliant and powerful. They have a mentality that portrays them as gods among humans. They are pleased with what they have and are con- Gods among humans. Ego and arrogance. I be on some king shit. My name ain't king. But everybody refer to me as king because a long time ago, that's what the fuck I said I was. And I viewed myself and I carried myself in that manner. My grandson is named King because of that. Off that very principle. Like nigga from this point on. I am a fucking king. And I am going to behave in that manner. Different kind of nigga. A better than. Man I can't do what these niggas do. They regular men. I'm a king. I got to be better than that son. I can't be out here being destructive to my, I'm a, hmm, gods among men. Constantly appreciative of the little things. Naturally, the Sigma males are self-sufficient and depend on no one for, and are constantly appreciative of the little things. Oh, you have no idea how I appreciate God. That's why I always tell my mom, that's how I know God exists, because I'm always appreciative of just the breath every day. Naturally, the Sigma males are self-sufficient and depend on no one for anything. Therefore, they don't have to prove their worth to anyone. <laughs> Sigma males also don't take kindness of others for granted. A Sigma male will always keep mental note of people who have done right by them, and also those who have done wrong by them. Sigma's... Say, bro, that shit, I heard this up to this point. That shit I'm on when it made me cry. I gotta get emotional. Because I literally have a internal list of everybody who ever done anything good for me and the moment i get into the position that i want myself to be in those people will see me again i guarantee you and i suppose i also have a list for the motherfuckers who did me dirty they gonna see me again too will show appreciation towards those that are positive influences in their life yeah. but completely disregard any disrespectful people mm. because they don't feel the need to prove themselves number six other people find sigma males intimidating <laughs> the intimidating aura the lone wolves constantly exude is one of the reasons they have fewer friends they don't behave like dominant males. it's very attractive and magnetic like i said like Bro, I'm going to let this man cook. I ain't get to this point. I'm going to let this man cook. Males intimidating. The intimidating aura the lone wolves constantly exude is one of the reasons they have fewer friends. They don't behave like dominant males who are always making noise. Yeah. Generally speaking, sigma males keep to themselves. However, they are forced to be feared. Remember, they can be happy and confident without anyone else's approval. <laughs> As a result, they are not hesitant to speak the truth mm. or confront someone who is acting inappropriately. Whoa. And because of these characteristics, the Sigma male is perceived as a danger. Few people, nevertheless, can recognize them for what they really are. The Sigma males can devote their time and energy to these people. And once you get past the intimidating factors of a Sigma male, you get to see the true, kind, 
yet assertive men that they are. I always say it, I ain't nothing but a big teddy bear. You just gotta get past the, the outer, I don't wanna say outer, cause this is me. But you gotta earn that part. Like they said in the beginning, you gotta earn my friendship. You gotta earn that inner circle. And that, you know what I'm saying, those other circles got defenses around it. Not just defense, but defense. <laughs> Number seven, Sigma males are mysterious and elusive. Mm, mm, Sigma mm. males are challenging to comprehend. They become more enigmatic the more you try to understand them. They live alone and only a small number of people comprehend them and share their viewpoints. Sigmas tend to live in their own little worlds and can- Very, very lonely. That's why you need a group as a young man, bro. Like, you not all different, bro. Just these niggas always loud, barking. Like, that ain't my style. But I ain't them niggas over there. I like to read like them niggas, too. But I ain't scared to tear down with y'all niggas, too, either. But I ain't, like, man, I was, like, I was on a different level. Like, I can hang with y'all niggas. I am with y'all niggas. But I don't believe what you niggas believe. And y'all niggas be on some weirdo shit, too. I'm better than you niggas. Consider excessive socializing to be a major distraction. They only have thought-provoking conversations. They detest rumors and stay away Ooh. from rumor mongers like the plague. Ooh. A Sigma male's mysterious nature is attributed to the fact that they seem to live in a world that they have constructed for themselves. Something I like to refer to as the Sigma Matrix. Sigma males are so mysterious yet successful in their lives that it just seems that they pave the way for their destiny in ways that are too abstract for the average person. Number eight, Sigma males always observe when they are in a new environment. Sigma males always take a seat back and watch what is going on around them when they are in a new area or environment. And they become enraged the moment they encounter someone who is addicted to social media or who enjoys spreading falsehoods. <laughs> they will make every effort to avoid these people. Mm. For the lone wolves, life is about more than squandering time on social media or spreading misinformation to cause trouble. Every Sigma male is a firm believer in radiating the energy they desire to be around. Mm -hmm. They are, of course, modest and motivating to everyone. However, they won't waste their time or their faith on those who don't merit it. Number nine, Sigma males are self-sufficient. A Sigma male is independent as well as self-sufficient. He doesn't rely on people since he feels independent, which could be dangerous, but he goes above and beyond to give himself whatever he wants and needs. The Sigma male- <sighs> Man, I have said this so many times, bro. Ain't nobody born in Baton Rouge have walked as many miles, I mean walked, as this guy has in pursuit of independence, of being self-sufficient. You know, I'm working two, three jobs sometimes. I ain't, I couldn't afford a car. I, all my money had to go to being a single father and paying all the goddamn deals. So if I had to walk 20 miles to work for a year back and forth, then that's what I had to do. So 40 miles a day, walking back and forth, year and a half going to, like, just the walking along, oh my God. I ain't got no car. I can't depend on nobody to take me. Every cent is dedicated in the pursuit of raising this child. I got. I ain't got no help. I gotta do it on my own. Niggas, man, you ain't gonna get you some food stamps and welfare. Nah, nigga, I'm a man. That's not how society looks at us. I gotta do this on my own. Equips himself. Plus, I know how to grow my own crops and go in the hood and hunt and kill animals and feed myself. I always say, these alpha male niggas, another argument I have made on my videos, these alpha male niggas talk about they alpha, but they don't know how to stick their hand in the ground and grow nothing or go in the woods and get you some lunch. Like, you arguing about the same shit you arguing against the women. Oh, y'all women, thank you. You're only, you're only feminist because it's a first world country. 
Okay, alright, so if the shit hit the fan like you niggas talking about, what can you do, my boy? Can you feed her? I done told my grandkids plenty of times, I said, the zombie apocalypse hit. Like, y'all laughing, I done said this shit to people in real life. Like, man, I prepared for the zombie apocalypse. And I got tense in it, I said, zombie apocalypse hit. You, what Papa teach y'all, y'all niggas gonna be gods out here when these niggas faltering. They're going to be on the same shit. I'm going to take what I want. But they're going to start too. You hear me? Because they can't feed themselves. With the means to accomplish his visions and life goals. He doesn't require fans or supporters to encourage him. Hmm. He usually relies on his ingrained survival abilities rather than other people. Because of a Sigma's self-sufficiency, he doesn't put himself in many situations where he makes other people feel needed. This is just another trait of the lone wolf that contributes to his lack of many friends. If you agree with the points I made in this video, let me know in the comments. For more videos on Sigma males, check out... Like I said, I recently discovered I was a Sigma male. Like, and this was like shocking to me because this is how I felt like my entire life. I just said this shit. Like the OGs when I was in elementary school calling me unconcerned. Because I used to always had this air like, that little nigga cool, but he ain't like, like the other little dudes. He ain't got to be around the other little dudes. The other little dudes just like him. Like when he come outside, everybody want to fuck with King. Everybody want to mess with him. When he go to the party, like I'm just want to chill. Like, man, but you know, you get a lot of haters too. I cut the niggas off quick. I ain't got time for that. I ain't gonna waste my time. Like, and it hurt me. Like, I got feelings too when I end relationships. But I ain't gonna, I might necessarily let you see it hurt me, but it affects me. Because, like they said, when you, when you, uh, it's hard for you to make friends, you to analyze it. I mean, you question your, you question your own judgment. That's what's hurtful. Like, I can't believe I let this dude or this person get this close to me. Like, uh, I always say family different because you got a blood bond that won't never go away. But I can choose who I allow to enter my atmosphere. Like, and if you a foreign object, like, I can repel you. If you a friendly one, you accept it into my orbit. Hit that like, subscribe, become part of the kingdom.